If you don't know anything about skincare and basically are struggling with your skin and you don't know where to start, he made it really simple. He said you just need two ingredients to start improving your skin. Honestly, I was just shocked how much it had already improved my skin. All right. Hello everyone, I'm very happy that you found your way back to my channel. I have a topic today that I'm pretty in enthusiastic about because I have struggled a lot with my skin and generally with acne basically throughout my whole teenage years, mostly on my face and also a little bit on my back. and. I thought, okay, this will stop when I'm in my 20s or when I'm in my early adulthood, however you want to call it. However, that was not the case, unfortunately. So basically, until I was 24, I had problems with my skin and I could never find a solution for it. I tried so many products, basically anything that was marketed in the drugstore as to helping with acne prone skin, with enlarged pores, with all of these things, um, like little breakouts, etc, etc. Et I tried them all and none of them helped. Matter of factly, when COVID hit and I was also a bit stressed and wasn't eating my best, I had I had such bad skin, I was really self-conscious and you could just see on my face that my skin was struggling and I, that I wasn't healthy, not inside and also not on the outside. So basically, what I did <laughs> was I went on Instagram and I started like looking at some dermatologists who were talking about skincare. Back then, a friend of mine was already into the whole skincare world, knew a lot about different ingredients and basically she had so much knowledge that I, that also inspired me to get a bit more knowledgeable myself about skincare in general. One thing before I start talking how I helped my skin when I was 24, I just want to say this is what works for me. There is no guarantee that this will also work for you, but it's I think pretty general advice. I mean, I'm not saying my skin is perfect now, but I think the comparison to now is huge. I don't like forbid myself to eat anything, but still my skin has gotten a lot better. So I believe a lot of it has to do with the skincare that I have started using. I started following a couple of dermatologists on Instagram. And one of them got suggested to me by the algorithm, basically. And it was a doctor who was saying, if you don't know anything about skincare and basically are struggling with your skin and you don't know where to start, he made it really simple. He said, you just need two ingredients to start improving your skin. The first thing was vitamin C. And... Honestly, I had probably seen it on a couple of skincare products before, but it like never occurred to me that it was so powerful in your skincare. So basically, I started applying it every morning. And after after already a week, honestly, I was just shocked how much it had already improved my skin. You know, vitamin C has the power to basically bleach. I don't know if bleach is the correct thing, but it helps with um, like old pimples that you had, like the marks that stay after the pimple is gone, that it basically clears that up. And so my skin already looked a lot more even and my complexion just got a lot better. Today I have two vitamin C serums that I am using and I am loving. The first one is from the drugstore in Germany and it's from Daytox. It's the vitamin C serum. But also this is really good. I have used it and my skin loves it. Soaks it up really quickly and it even says for a bright and even looking complexion. It was about 20 euros so not too expensive, totally fair in my opinion. The other one that I would like to show is the Theramid Vitamin C Serum. This one has some other ingredients. It has vitamin C with 20%, which is really, really highly concentrated. 
This one has, it doesn't even say it, I would have to look it up, but it has also vitamin C and ferulic acid. To be honest with you, I don't know what the other two are <laughs> good for, I just know that this really works. It's a bit more expensive than the other one that I just showed and it's only available online. Um, I will link the store and everything in the description box. Yeah, I can really recommend this one. Okay, so I started using vitamin C. The second ingredient the doctor said, <laughs> the Instagram doctor said, would be great to use was retinol. And I had no idea even what retinol was. Retinol is another word for vitamin A. This is how I have understood it. Also, I'm not a doctor, so don't, <laughs> don't take my uh, explanations um, completely by heart. Do your own research, definitely. But that was the next thing that I started incorporating into my skincare routine and I used it in the evenings. So basically retinol is best used in the evening and one thing that's really important if you do use retinol um, I would start slowly so maybe once or twice a week see how your skin reacts to it and then from there you can like use it more and more often. Basically retinol helps with anti-aging so it helps like even out some lines and everything. Yeah, it even says clinical vitamin A, so I was right. I also have the one from Theramid right now, but back then I used a pretty basic one from the drugstore, honestly. I didn't pay a lot of money, it was also about 20 euros. Those serums are about 34, 35 euros if you do not buy them on sale. They have a summer sale, they have a spring sale, I think, and also a Black Friday sale, which is always the best. Like you can buy stuff on Black Friday from them. But yeah, basically I started using that and what I found is that it also helped a lot with my breakouts and with my acne. And only using vitamin C and vitamin A honestly made a huge difference. I started really using cheaper products and they still helped. Especially now, like from the ordinary or like from the drugstore even, there's so many options that are affordable but that are still effective, so don't feel like you need to buy the most expensive thing to get an effect. I just wanted to point that out because um, now I do have some more expensive ones. I also have tried some luxury skincare, but honestly, the cheap ones do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest here. Sometimes I just buy the more expensive things for the feeling, for the look, or for like um, slightly better ingredients or like the packaging and stuff, but. Don't feel pressured to um, have expensive, the mo more expensive things. Okay, after that, my friend told me that niacinamide was also really, really great because I complained about having enlarged pores. Basically, you can't see that on camera now. Also, I'm wearing <laughs> makeup, so you can't see it probably anyways, but Especially um, on my forehead area, I have pretty enlarged pores and that has always been a insecurity of mine because, of course, in today's day and age, we are confronted with pictures on Instagram or magazines or the television. And also on YouTube, people always look like they have perfect skin. And when I didn't wear makeup, my pores looked, in my eyes, they looked huge because I had a lot of acne as a teenager and I always used to squeeze it. Please don't squeeze your face, don't pop your pimples, it's so bad for you. Also, it can get inflamed and everything, but yeah. So she told me basically niacinamide was the shit and she told me to get the one from Paula's Choice, but that was like way too expensive for me, even now. It's like, it's crazy expensive. So what I did is I got the one from The Ordinary and I still use it to this day but one thing that I have to say is that it costs 10 euros and I was always really happy with it and I felt like it did the trick after using niacinamide for like two weeks I could really tell a difference in the in my t-zone the thing is don't expect anything like to be a miracle if I stop using this my enlarged pores come back so you have to really <laughs> consistently use it but I said one of option would be to just go for a niacinamide serum. This one also has zinc in it, which is really great because it also helps, uh, helps with breakouts. 
What you could also do, however, is get like a cream that has niacinamide in it. <clears throat> I have a cream from the Transparent Lab, which is from the same website as the colorful serums that I just showed you, the vitamin A and the vitamin C. Yeah, this is called the Niacinamide Glow Cream, basically. And what I really love about the brand is you can see every single ingredient, like on the front. It's like pretty cool. Um, yeah, this has a lot of different ingredients, basically. It doesn't only have niacinamide, it also has, for example, glycerin, which I will also get into in a second. But yeah, I really like this one, especially like in the summer when it's really, really warm, warm and you don't want to have too much on your skin. You can also wear this during the daytime, but really important, just <laughs> wear sunscreen. And I cannot use this one too often. I feel it. I feel like it is pretty strong and it does a lot with my skin. Like it just sheds, I, I feel like it sheds like the top layer of it and my skin underneath is a bit, looks a bit more youthful and even after like a whole day of wearing, wearing this. Yeah, I can also really recommend this. We'll link it in the description box. Then I fell in love with hyaluronic acid. <laughs> And basically what I didn't realize is I just thought, I didn't check like the ingredients, I thought I was just using a vitamin C serum. What I didn't realize is that it also had hyaluronic acid. What I did is I bought also from The Ordinary the hyaluronic acid 2% with vitamin B5 in it as well. The sun is really coming in right now. Um, it will get nice and toasty in here in just about a second. So and what hyaluronic acid does, basically what I understand, is it helps to moisturize your skin from the inside and it looks a bit more plump. I can really notice the difference when I use it, like that my skin looks more plump, it has more like moisture in it, it keeps more moisture and it just helps also with like fine lines and just makes everything look a bit more bright and youthful. So hyaluronic acid, also something that I started incorporating into my skincare routine where I saw a really nice effect. Kind of hand in hand with hyaluronic acid, I would put the glycerin. I have a glycerin serum which has 15% glycerin and a 5% amino acid complex. It's also from transparent lab so basically the same website as a lot of the other products that I show today. I even have the oversized edition because I really love it. I even used it on my scalp when I had like a very dry scalp and I loved that as well. However don't do it like if you want to go out do it in the evening and wash your hair in the morning. But yeah just using this also in the summer is really nice to help your skin moist keep moisturized and like I feel like this and the hyaluronic acid are kind of similar and they do similar things however I would say the hyalur hyaluronic acid helps a bit more with making the skin more plump as in I feel like this one makes it just more moisturized okay I had to change the setup a little bit because the sun is like really coming in now and I just want to finish this video <laughs> But I love the sun, so it's okay. Okay, so the next ingredient would be cer ceramides. <laughs> ceramides are really great for keeping your skin barrier intact and like helping it um, keep the moisture basically and not dry out. So especially in winter, I have loved using ceramides because in winter my skin gets extremely dry and it, sometimes it just flakes off, especially like if um, also now when I had fa hay fever and I was like, um, yeah, using tissues <laughs> basically every five minutes or more often, I realized that uh, my skin on my nose was very, very dry and that's also where I use ceramides. And basically you can never go wrong with them. You can use them daily and I feel like they help your skin so much because on my skin ceramides also have a really calming effect so if like for example also I was too much in the sun and I didn't wear sunscreen on my lips or something and they are burning in the evening if I use ceramides on them maybe even pop a little hyaluronic acid in that perfect next day it's um, so much better so I have two products with ceramides so I just talked about my lips so I will 
show you the first product, which is this one. It is a lip balm which you use right before bedtime. Why is it not focusing? And it helps a lot, yeah, to keep your lips moisturized and then the next day you wake up and you have very nice and smooth lips, which we like. Another one would be just a basic face cream, I would say. I got this at the drugstore. This is also a really nice brand. I just only have this one product from them. But in the German drugstore, we have the no makeup um, brand. And it's really, really great for all sorts of different skincare. And this one is the all-in barrier cream. And as you can tell, I have used a lot of it because... Especially in winter, I use this every day. I use it every evening. And usually I'm a person, like when I use cream, my pores clog and like I get breakouts. Not with this one. Not with this one. It's really rich. It really gives your skin a lot of moisture, but it never made me break out, which I love because I had, I had stopped using creams basically. I only used serums and stuff, but I can only get away with that for so long, like when the temperatures are quite, yeah, okay, and you don't need to use the heating. As soon as I start using the heating and it gets like more cold and everywhere is heating, my skin gets super dry and then serum just won't be enough. So, yeah, this says strengthens the skin barrier and improves the skin's moisture levels. Yeah. Cannot go wrong with a good ceramide cream. This one says you can even wear it morning and evening. I only used it at night because I feel like it's so rich that when I applied makeup over this and also my sunscreen over this, it was just a bit too much, you know? So the next one would be chemical peels. You know those peels you get in the drugstore that have like these little grains in it that are like physically peeling your skin? which are supposed to help your breakouts, yeah, don't use that. Don't you, just don't use it. It's not necessary whatsoever. I never knew this, but it actually can harm your skin and it's really bad for it and it just irritates it. What you should do instead is use a chemical peel. I am currently using the balancing peel, also from Transparent Lab. As you can tell, I just love the brand, my friend recommended it to me and now I have so many products from them, uh, even uh, stuff from my hair, but yeah. So this has 10% chamomile water, 5% glycolic acid, 2% silic acid, 0.5% lactic acid and 0.5% mandelic acid. I was really scared to start using acid because like acid sounds really intense. <laughs> But once I did, I never looked back. Uh, this one is a really strong one, I would say. Maybe start with a lighter one. Like the ones in the drugstore usually don't have like too much uh, acid in them and are quite okay on the skin, I would say. So yeah, especially glycolic acid and salicylic acid are amazing. Like the salicylic acid has helped me loads with my skin especially if you are prone to breakouts it just helps like reduce the inflammation and just peels the skin of all the excess skin cells dead skin scales dead skin cells and like all of the unnecessary like oil and whatever so yeah I would not go without it anymore. I don't use it as frequently as I once did because this one is a very strong one. So I use it two times a week and that's enough for me. But if you have a like lighter one, you can definitely use it every day. I did that and it helped me a lot to clear up my skin basically. Okay, so another thing would be, um, especially in summer, it's not necessarily something that helps, but I like <laughs> to have some thermal water just to like freshen up. What I also love is if you use like water with hyaluronic acid, like if your skin is a bit damp, it can absorb the higher it's such a hard word, hyaluronic acid better. So yeah, I can definitely recommend that. You don't need to have one expensive like from a van. You can also use normal water, but I'm fancy like that, I guess. Um, one thing that I have not mentioned would be peptides. 
I have also the one from Theramid. I am not sure what it is supposed to do other than anti-aging. I felt like it also helped to calm my skin. I feel like if you use vitamin A, it tends to be a bit more aggressive. So if you want the anti-aging effect but not too aggressive, I would go with the peptides first. And uh, I once did a skincare quiz and it asked me, okay, do you want to help with breakouts and anti-aging or is it only anti-aging? And I did the t quiz twice and once I said, okay, I do want the anti-aging effect and then and the um yeah the anti-acne effect basically and it showed me like this uh so the vitamin a and if you don't need necessarily the anti-acne effect then peptides are also totally fitting i have not understood peptides fully until now i just don't know if i even really need them in my collection but i have almost used them up so probably they did something good also, um, this is controversial because some people say you do not need eye cream. You can just use your normal skin products under your eyes. I cannot. I feel like they are too aggressive. So I have a um, eye cream from Lancome. It's this one. And I think it's just with hyaluronic acid. But I'm not entirely sure what's in it. I just know that it helps. And so I use it. I bought it in like a pack with my mascara and it was just in there and I figured let's try it and I love it. I love the um, serums from Lancome as well. I have tried them. I had like little um, packages to try out samples but um, I have not bought it because I still have like um, hyal hyal hyaluronic acid from uh, Theramide, Theramide as well and I just want to use that up. One thing about me is I'm not a wasteful person and before I buy something the, one, the thing that I had before needs to be almost completely used up because otherwise I'm not allowed to buy the new one because that would just be dumb for my money <laughs> because skincare doesn't last forever and maybe it will go bad and also for the planet so yeah i just try to keep it as minimum minimal as possible says the person who's sitting here with like what 20 skincare products but you get my point every single product has a specific purpose so i feel like they all have like the right to be there <laughs> okay so another thing would be sunscreen so what I didn't know when I was younger was that you should basically use your sunscreen every single day. I thought it was just if you wanted to go into the sun, if you were on vacation, if you wanted to do sunbathing, nah. -uh. You have to use it every day in the morning, also in winter. And if you are sunbathing and basically outside a lot, you should even reapply it every two hours in your face at least. I think on your body as well, actually. Okay, I had to change the setup again a little bit because the sun is coming closer and closer <laughs> so i had a lot of different sunscreens okay so one that i have bought on vacation uh, vacation recently in tenerife is the la roche posay 50 plus one it's uh this one and it's really really good it also has like a little ball or something like so you can shake better and mix it and what I like about this one is that it is a super lightweight formula. It's not too thick. It just soaks into your skin pretty quickly and it doesn't leave like a greasy film on your skin, which a lot of sunscreens tend to do. Also, my eyes do not water at all when I use this, so I can also use it under my eyes and I have no problem whatsoever. So this one is very known in the skincare community and very loved and I understand why it's amazing. It's like 18 euros or something. I purchased it a bit cheaper because they had like some some sale. And the other one is from Acnemy. It is this one. And it's also from the same website as the other uh, things that I have showed you today. What I like is it even says zit control. It is also SPF 50, but what I like is that it's simultaneously a treatment for acne prone skin. You do, will not break out from this. Matter of factly, it will help you reduce your acne and your breakouts. So <laughs> we love that. 
If I use this, however, I have realized that my skin looks pretty greasy afterwards. So if I use makeup on top, it's just like not the best look. I like that one a bit more for that reason. But if I just want to sit on my balcony, then I use this on my face and this under my eyes because I cannot use this under my eyes. I did that once or twice and my eyes were burning so much that I had to like wash it off my eyes and like it was not a very pleasant experience so please don't put this under your eyes. I don't know what's in there but it burns. Whew. Okay, so another thing that is pretty important which I don't think all of like everybody realizes would be makeup removal because like don't I think everyone knows this advice just don't go to bed with your makeup on it's terrible for your skin and especially if you have acne just don't do it also how you take your makeup off plays a huge role because if you just scrub everything and like try so hard to get your mascara off and everything it just irritates the skin and it's not a good thing also don't use those makeup wipes not a not a good idea they have often terrible ingredients. What I would recommend would be using an oil-based oil cleanser. I know what you're thinking. I will break out, it will clog my pores, it will like burn in my eyes or whatever. It's not the case. Especially not with this one. It's also from the same brand. It's the Transparent Lab Oil Cleanser. And this is basically a holy grail. When you take your makeup off with this, it goes so easy. It just melts off your face and it just doesn't irritate your skin at all. It like hydrates it, if anything. It has 3% squalane, it has 2% abyssinian oil and 1% vitamin E. And honestly, you wash it off anyway, so I don't know if the vitamin and everything really matters. But um, yeah. I use this first to take off my makeup and I like to do a double cleanse, especially if I did wear makeup or sunscreen that day because it's hard to get it off just with one product. So what I will do is use the oil-based oil cleanser and after, one, after that um, <laughs> use the purifying cleansing gel from Acnemy, which is called Zit Clean. So it looks kind of similar to that one because it's the same brand and it's almost empty but I already bought it purchased like a new one so it will be my second bottle and it's um, amazing. Um, when I started using this my skin had to get used to it because it has salicylic acid in it and at least I think it does I'm not sure honestly but it was like a bit aggressive on my skin and it left it very dry but like after three weeks of usage that was completely gone and it just had positive effects so I can definitely recommend that one. However, I do not use this every morning, I just use it once a day and like in the evening mostly and what I use in the morning would be also from Transparent Lab, the Rose Calming Cleanser with a pH of 5.5. What I love about this one is the gorgeous packaging. I just, I'm just such a sucker for pretty things, so I love that one. It looks amazing in my shower as well, um, because most of my shampoos are purple, uh, pink. Okay, I'm, I'm losing the point. Um, this has a very calming effect on your skin. It has even aloe vera, I think. It definitely has rose in it, that's for sure, and for sure, and it smells like rose honestly like when i use this in the morning it just smells very gently like rose but not in a perfumey way because none of the things i showed you i think has any perfume in them because you should never use stuff that is with perfume maybe this one does honestly i'm not sure i try to eliminate it as much as possible because it dries out your skin it's basically yeah not not anything that you need um, some of the things won't smell like amazing. I enjoy all of the smells. They smell pretty natural and neutral, but um, yeah, this has a little rosy smell to it. And I love it just in the morning to get off some sweat or like whatever from the night before when I was sleeping, had my pillow on the, on the, uh, had my face on the pillow all night. Some people just recommend to only use a water cleanse in the morning to just wash your face with water does not work for me. I get breakouts. I need to wash it like with some real cleanser. <laughs> but uh, just see what works for you. So 
<laughs> I can honestly say I have a lot of skincare. Like in the last two years, I have just stocked up a lot. But I would not go back ever because honestly, look at my skin now. And it has just improved so much. I, I just... I'm really happy and I know it's a privilege that I could buy all of these things to help it, but maybe start like I did. Just buy one vitamin C serum, then try retinol and just try to get into the whole like ingredient stuff. I'm not like very familiar on the chemical things and the reactions and stuff, but yeah. One more thing that I need to say, if you go out and buy anything like that, like these things don't combine certain ingredients like look up what can be combined because for example you should never ever combine vitamin A with like uh, salicylic acid or glycolic acid or anything like that because that would be too aggressive at least in most cases also on my skin it has not been great also using niacinamide similarly uh, like simultaneously to um, like for example salicylic acid is also for me personally not the best idea so also be careful in the compositions you use and how you combine things because your skin could also get really irritated and that has happened like twice to me and it's not a very pleasant feeling when your skin is like really red and burning and is like reacting to some reaction from different chemicals in your skincare so just be a bit careful, but with most things you can get in the drugstores and everything, you should be totally fine because they are not very highly concentrated. But if you use more advanced, I would say, products like me, just be a bit careful. Yeah, that would be my how I cleared up my acne video, basically. I hope you enjoyed it. I also am getting into, like, scalp care because, yeah, I just... Have very dry skin on my scalp and I'm trying to see what helps with that. If you want to see a video on scalp skin care, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please, please, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe, I would love that. It helps me so much. And it also helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos to people so they can watch them, like to recommend them, uh, recommend my videos to them. And also, drop a comment down below what you thought, drop a comment, tell me your story about your skincare journey, and yeah, I would be very happy to chat with you. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice rest of the weekend, or like week, whatever, wherever you are and when you watch it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!